Five Vacations Breeders Crown Finale for 1990. The two-year-old Colt Pace, and right now, Art's place is at eight to five and die laughing at four to five. But keep in mind, the favorite in this race has won only once, Camptastic in 87. Here's Stan Bergstein. The passage, the passage of time sometimes fades memories of greatness, but no one in this sport can forget the great horse known as Superbird. His name was Albatross, and he stands now at Hanover Shoe Farms in Pennsylvania. He won 59 of 71 races, was first, second, or third in 70 of them, and retired as the fastest and richest pacer ever in 1974. Six of the 11 horses here, including Die Laughing and Arts Place, are out of mares by Albatross. Superbird still flies highest of all. Bruce. The track and world record is in jeopardy. It's 153 and two, set by Kentucky Spur in 1988. Here's Kurt Becker with the call of the race. No Nukes looks for his first ever Breeders' Crown winner here tonight with Die Laughing. Two-year-old pacers in behind. They're off and pacing from the outside. Die laughing between pacers. There goes Arts Place. Those two will battle for early command. Out third, Tudor Scooter hunts cover for Sable Vision. Now Arts Place has made the top. And Die laughing. No room behind him. Finds himself parked. He's second. Racing third, Tudor Scooter. Four as they slip around the upper turn. Sable Vision. Five, Storm and Jesse. Six, free flow. Seven, stand and deliver. Eight, man tease. Nine, along the rail. As Silk East alone. Ten, happy family. Eleven, cam fast off the front quarter at 26 to this and die laughing parked off a quarter at 26 and two now will find himself in trouble as they race toward the half on the inside arts place outside die laughing tudor scooter still covered he's third a distant four is sable vision they're in the lower turn five is storm and jesse six on the inside free flow racing seven mantis eight stand and deliver racing nine along the rail silky stallone ten is a race toward the backside happy family the half in 53 two fifths that panel at 27 Cam Best can see the field. They're driving down the back stretch, and now Die Laughing will fight tiredness. He's third. Tudor Scooter is still there second. Arts place on top for John Campbell. Tudor Scooter waits to move on the outside, pacing third. Die Laughing. Four is Sable Vision sneaking up along the rail. Five right behind him comes Storm and Jesse. Six man tease. Seven free flow. They're in the final turn. Racing eight. Happy family. Nine stand and deliver. Three quarters. One twenty three. The world record very much within reach. And Art Place is on top now by four legs as Die Laughing fades to the field. Racing second, Tudor Scooter. And Art Place is a full in the stretch. They turn for home. Tudor Scooter a distant second. On the outside, Storm and Jesse third. An incredible performance. After carving a front quarter in 26 and 2, a half in 53 and 2, Art Place wins at 151. One fifth. There is the world record. There is the fastest two year old pacer in the history of the sport, the fastest two year old ever, and he does it on a 5 8. A brilliant performance. 151 and 1. And your race winner is Arts Place, who won the Governor's Cup, won the Metro, did not race in the Woodrow Wilson this year. Ten wins coming into the race, now over a million dollars for the season. And John Campbell has back-to-back -back Breeders' Crown winners. I've got to tell you, Bruce, in 10 years here at Pompano Park, one of the most, probably the most impressive performance I have ever seen over this 5 8 mile oval. Arts Place took command at the beginning and left no doubts in anybody's mind, including Tudor Scooter and Die Laughing, who was certainly the best tonight, the fastest mile ever at Pompano Harness Track. And as you can see, they're coming to the wire. And Arts Place and John Campbell opening up by some 10 lanes here, demolishing this field in the two-year-old Colton Gelding pace. A splendid performance. The two-year-old Colt, son of Albert Abercrombie.